morning. I am being very good. I thought yesterday that I wouldn't get up and go for my run. It is seven o'clock and I have just got out of bed, off my run. It looks like it is boiling outside already. I'm halfway through my run. And I gotta say, is there anything better than waking up in the morning and going for a run here? It's amazing. beautiful day I'm absolutely sweating so much it is far too hot for this time in the morning I'm far too hot to be running but oh my goodness it's so nice right I'm gonna get running again now because I just had to stop take some pictures I've just been doing loads of work this morning and then all of a sudden I looked at the time and it was like oh it's 10 to 12 so I've just had to quickly get everything ready we are checking out here and gonna head down to the hotel we can't check in to the hotel till 2 well that's what it says so we'll just go, we're just gonna go and see if we can check in or we can just leave our bags or whatever most places, check in most places. yeah <laughs> come on then let's go buy a hotel room it was short and sweet oh my goodness I'm so off it all this morning has done Nothing down my fitness, we just were on the fourth floor, just got in the room. I had to walk up, up the stairs with those two bags. Oh, I'm going to thought my legs were going to give way underneath me at one point. It's just quite nice to be honest though. It's so cheap. I think I said yesterday, I think it's £32 for the five nights that we're staying. Yeah, and it's nice. It's got We've got one double bed, which we're fine with. We've got a little fridge, which is vitally important to Stephen. Isn't it Stephen? A freezer, got a wardrobe, bathroom, a view out onto construction site, but hey, never mind. And then outside, there's like a little seating area here, which is nice. We've had a worse view of the construction site. Yeah, with the wall. Where was that? Hanoi, yeah. Do you remember that? We were watching for a while when we were in Hanoi and we got changed, um, we got changed hotel rooms and our view, we opened the curtains and there was just a wall there. So at least we got a view of something other than a wall. I think we're just going to unpack, well maybe, maybe we won't unpack, I don't know, but we're going to head down to the beach in a sec. Right, uh, we've dumped our bags, we're off down to the beach, we're slightly close to the beach at this hotel. Probably about three minute walk. Can't really complain at that, can you? Three minute walk away from the beach. By the way, colors start to run. Giving in. yet really apart from like a little pass on each that was left over from last night so we'll get something to eat gonna head back to the hotel for a little bit it's such a nice day we just got back to the hotel looks like everywhere's had a bit of a power cut we went to a couple of shops and all their electricity was down we just got back to the hotel and she just said that we've got no electricity here 
It was a bit of a pain because I wanted to put some drinks in the fridge. I need to put this camera on charge. We won't have any Wi-Fi, will we? Hmm. Oh well, never mind. We're just heading back out. We've been in the apartment for quite a few hours. I have been doing some super exciting, we think it's exciting, don't we? What I've been doing. What have you been doing? The thing that I said to you before. Yeah. Yes. I've been looking into some super exciting things, but it's a big hush and hush expensive. secret. And expensive, yes. Yeah. Super exciting, super expensive. Hush hush thing that I'm not going to tell you about. Sorry. But I've been spending a long time looking into that and I'm no near... Take that. I know, yeah, it's quite annoying, isn't it? But I'm no near sorting it out oh, yeah, I than I was at the start, to be honest. But I will get there. It's very exciting for both of us, isn't it? <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so we're heading out, maybe get something to eat and just have a little wander. We've not been out overnight, so time to explore. There are so, so many restaurants and places to eat and coffee houses and things in the Trang. It's like a proper just beach resort and there's just so many places to eat. It's very Russian as well. I think I've just seen some... I don't know where they are now, but if you see it again, lots of signs and things are written in Russian. I think it's obviously a popular place with the Russian tourists. When we checked into a hotel today, actually, she asked me if we were from, from Russia. Obviously, where the Russians come is Natrang. Question for you: Is that all Russian? It looks like like a Russian um, travel agency place. I think it is. One of the things I'd really like to do whilst we're here is up north, maybe about a. 30, 40 minute um, bike ride from here. There's like some waterfalls. And I would love to hire a bike and go up there, but I think that this one no longer wants to come on a bike with me after our last time. I don't know, he doesn't trust me anymore, so I'll have to try and maybe persuade him. I don't mind going straight. You don't mind straight, yeah. It's, if we just got a straight road, <laughs> we're all right. If we've got and it's any, not busy. If, yeah, and it's not busy. If we've got any bends or any hills, then we're in trouble. Maybe I should hire, we should hire a bike one day and just like do some practicing around in a quiet place before we try and do like a 30 minute trip. Maybe that might be the way to go. We've just walked down to the front. It's a bit noisy, the main road is there. The beach is just there beyond the main road. They're noisy, aren't they? We might have a little wander through, maybe. Mm. Well, I think we're going to get some dried mango. We've walked to the end and back. It's only a small little market, and to be honest, to be honest, it's kind of a load of touristy tap really like flip flops and bags and bracelets and stuff like that but how do you get out hang on they're so noisy at that place you just walk down to the beach for a little bit i love a beach of a night by the beach I think it's a full moon tonight I can't get it on camera I've taken a still shot of it though but yeah it looks like a full moon we're watching it if Stephen's granddad is watching on FaceTime the other day yesterday I think it was you were saying about the full moon we are sitting here watching it like beaches of a night or not really like in Spain like you want to go to the beach bar at night yeah you've got friends to play with you need your friends to play with Right, we're going to hit the phone today, but we're back now. I'm not going to the sea. Don't like the sea of a night. I don't think I've ever been in the sea of a night. Apart from when Paul pushed me in, yeah. <laughs> that wasn't boring for you, though. That was in holiday in Spain, by the way. We had a nice little evening just wandering along the beach. Is it spice on it? <laughs> we had a nice little evening just wandering along the beach and just walking around. It was really nice. We've just been and bought um, some of the falafel things that we got the, uh, yesterday, I think it was. We're just sitting up, eating them. Stephen's got spice on his. Is it nice though? 
good. We're gonna watch a little bit of Friday night dinner, I think, and relax. We're planning what we're doing tomorrow, just check the weather, and apparently it's gonna be gorgeously sunny the next two days, and then we're due storms and rain. So we think possibly we might go to the water park or something tomorrow, we don't know yet. We're just thinking about it, looking into how we get there and what we do, so we shall see. I'm going to end the vlog here because we're just going to chill out for the rest of the evening. So thanks for watching today. I hope you had a wonderful day, whatever you've done. And I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.